Hi, I'm John from SDR Play and as you can see the leaves have pretty much gone from all the trees and it's holiday time and with that in mind we've got some great news to share with you about a special offer this holiday season on the RSPDX. But first over to Steve to remind us a bit more about the RSPDX. In a minute, I'll show you how it compares to the other members of the RSP family from SDR Play. But first, let's just go through the key features of the RSPDX itself. The RSPDX covers all frequencies from 1 kHz all the way up to 2 GHz with no gaps. Now, within that range, you can receive, monitor, and record up to 10 MHz of spectrum at a time. One key feature of the RSPDX is that performance below 2 MHz has been substantially enhanced, which gives it improved dynamic range and selectivity. We'll show you that a bit later on. It also features a software selectable choice of three antenna ports, enabling extremely versatile antenna switching. It has an enhanced ability to cope with extremely strong signals compared to its predecessor, the RSP2, and it has excellent dynamic range for challenging reception conditions. And finally, it has an option to use an external clock input for connection to GPS references for extra frequency accuracy. Like all members of the RSP family, the RSPDX works very well on HF. Here's an example of a QSO between Hungary and Japan on the 20 meter band. So where exactly does the RSPDX fit in the range of RSPs from SDR Play? Well, for many people, the RSPDX occupies a sweet spot between the entry-level RSP1A and the high-end RSP Duo. Like the RSP1A, it is a single tuner device, but it has three inputs, which makes antenna switching much more convenient. It also has the HDR mode, which we will go into in more detail later. The RSP Duo, on the other hand, also offers three inputs, but it has dual tuner capability. That will enable you to tune two widely different frequencies at the same time, or you can use two separate antennas and explore the world of diversity tuning, which can give you much better reception in adverse reception conditions. Now let's look at the HDR, or High Dynamic Range Mode, which is a unique feature of the RSPDX. It comes into play at frequencies less than 2 MHz and gives you improved sensitivity at the lower frequencies. First off, let's take a look at the medium wave and long wave bands. The HDR mode of the RSPDX is enabled by a new band available from the band select buttons in RX control. You'll see the entry there for HDR and then you have a new range of buttons for the various ranges of frequencies below 2 MHz. Here we're looking at the medium wave band or AM broadcast band and you will see there are other buttons for various other ranges across the LF and VLF spectrum. And now we'll switch over to the long wave band using the LW button in RX control. John Jeremiah Sullivan. So we're on the north side of the city. Non-directional beacons, or NDBs, are a popular target for many hands. Now we're going to switch over to the NDB low button in the band select panel and see what we can hear.
Changing gears, I now want to mention the antenna switching flexibility offered by the RSPDX. With a choice of three inputs, you can do uh, many great things with it. You can use one of the inputs to hook up to your transceiver as a pan adapter, and then with a simple switch in the software, you can switch over to different antennas connected to the other inputs. Antennas A and B utilize SMA connectors and they're usable over the full range from 1 kHz to 2 GHz. Antenna C features a BNC connector and that is restricted to frequencies below 200 MHz. In addition, antenna B has a BIOS T circuit which can be used to activate an external preamplifier if you need one. The 160 meter band has somewhat of a reputation for being quiet a lot of the time. The nice thing about having the RSPDX uh, just for listening or hooked up as a pan adapter is that you can switch over and have a look and see if there's any activity going on on 160 meters and then if necessary you can switch your transceiver over to that same frequency. So now you have a better idea of what the RSPDX is and what it's capable of, I'll turn it back to John now for details about the promotion. Thanks Steve. So at SDR Play we recognise times are tough for a lot of people and there's a lot of economic pressures. So we've been working with our network of participating dealers to uh, see if we could come up with a really good price for this holiday season. And from Black Friday through till December the 31st, the RSPDX will be on offer at a seriously discounted suggested retail price of £130 or €156 Euros or US dollars plus shipping plus applicable taxes like VAT uh, in UK and Europe. So this represents a substantial discount. It's more than a fifth of the regular price for this. So this is a great opportunity to get a superb general coverage receiver as a gift for a newcomer or for anyone returning to the hobby after many decades perhaps away. And we hope you can take advantage of it. And um, more information, go to sdrplay.com. Thanks for watching.